New Year same Jane because like, how? How could I not be the same Jane? I'm gonna show you last year's goals and we're gonna see which ones I accomplished, which ones I took L's in, and I'm gonna show you this year's goals and then next year we're gonna see which ones I accomplished and which ones I took L's in. My goals for last year and this year are in this here notebook. So let's see what I got popping in here. My goals for 2016 were reach 10,000 subscribers, I failed, took an L in that one, I didn't even reach half of that. Get views back on track, I took such a big L on that one that my views actually got worse throughout the year not including YouTube making like 80% of the community's views go down so okay get MacBook Pro did that get Final Cut Pro did that focus more work harder I'm gonna give myself a W on that one like I have my moments of course who doesn't have their moments um yeah. Get out of my comfort zone. Yes, I definitely did that. Yes, good job. Good job, Jane. Get phone fixed. I don't know why that was a goal. I don't even remember ever cracking my phone. I remember dropping it in the toilet at school, but there was no damage. So that makes no sense to me, but whatever. Get Sigma lens. No, I did not do that because, um, Sometime throughout the year, I just decided it wasn't important. I didn't need it. Um, yeah. Out of the eight goals that I wrote down, I accomplished half of them. So I accomplished four of them, also including an unexpected goal, which was my first kiss. But girl, we're not going to talk about that, okay? Okay. <laughs> now let's just get into this year, this new year's new goals. New year, new me. Um, no, honey. New year, new goals. Yes, honey. My goals for 2017 include, number one, take better care of myself because, girl, I am a hot mess. I'm the hottest mess you will ever see or meet in your life. Like, it's so bad. So, I need to take better care of myself and that's what I'm gonna do. So, that's what's gonna happen. Number two, not overthink things and make them a super big deal. Yes, because I am such a drama queen. Like on top of being a hot mess, I am such a drama queen. And when things happen, I get so dramatic or literally I, literally it is something that I'm not even being dramatic about. I just get like overworked up on it, like anxiety and stuff. So this year we're just gonna try to chill. Chill, Bill, you feel? Number three, make one really close friend. Now, I love the really close friends I have now. You guys know who you are, and if you're watching this, hey girl, thanks for the support. But as the year goes on, I just wanna make one, just one really close friend, just to know that I'm capable of getting really close to like a new personality or a new person, and that person is capable of getting really close to me and gaining my trust and stuff. So let's hope that goes well, we'll see. Number four, continue to get out of my comfort zone. That should not be a problem. Number five, say yes to things I said no to. Okay, so this doesn't mean say yes to drugs and alcohol because no ma'am, no ma'am. But this means say yes to things like, for example, sushi. I don't like fish, so instantly I'm like, I don't like sushi. And I've never tried sushi, but that's just how I feel. So that's something I've always said no to, but this year I'm gonna say yes to trying sushi. Um, yes to trying protein shakes or energy shakes, stuff like that and etc. Number six, put more time and effort into my YouTube videos even if I'm mentally uncapable. So this means put more time and effort into my videos whether I'm lazy, upset, sad, mad whatever because YouTube is just one of those things I've even noticed with bigger youtubers like they'll be gone for a while and they'll they'll come back and they'll say sorry that I was gone for so long like I wasn't like feeling myself there was a lot going on because YouTube is just one of those things that if you're not mentally okay like how do you get a video done how do you film how do you edit all of that um, it's not like 
a job or a sport where if you're not feeling okay, like you still have to show up, doesn't matter. YouTube is on your own time, so you gotta do whatever. So I want to be able to push through that because last year if I didn't post it was either I was too upset, I was lazy, or I just didn't know what to film. But I just wanna push through that and make more time and effort. Number seven, manage my money better slash more wisely. I want to do a better job saving my money. Like I do an okay job with it, but I could do better. So that's what we're gonna do this year. Number eight, spend money on more YouTube equipment. I have not gotten any new YouTube equipment since February 2016 because honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like so scared to put more money into YouTube and have it not go anywhere. You know what I mean? I'm sorry that's horrible to say, but that's just how I feel. So, you know, but I guess I'll take the risk this year. You know, your girl's got her own job, the girl making her own money, so. We'll see how that goes. Lee number nine, reach 10,000 subscribers, which was a goal I had for last year, but that never happened. So hopefully it can happen this year. I pray it does, especially because I will try to push through, put more time, effort, and money into my videos and all of that. So let's hope it happens. I'm just praying, praying that it happens. All right. These were my last year's goals and these were my new year's goals. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully I accomplish all of them. If I don't, that's fine. We'll see. I'm not gonna say 2017 is my year because I'm 16 years old, like I'm young. I have many more years left and I have a lot of life left, so we'll see what happens, but I hope it's a really good year for me. And you guys too. So thank you for watching this video to kick off your new year. Hey! Okay, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.